living in luxury. What is up guys? It's Ava. Welcome back to Vlogtowski and guys, I know I look like I'm bald today. Um, if you're new to this channel, I promise I have a lot more hair than this. It is just braided up and I need to get my braids redone. Today is going to be a fabulous day. Like today's gonna be so fun, but I've had the most stressful morning and like emotional morning. And like this vlog was honestly supposed to be so different, but this morning has just been like really really wild basically a really long time ago my mom asked me to go see beyonce with her in concert and to hold this date and you know i'm not gonna say like oh you know like my life is so hard to like hold dates in my calendar blah i'm so busy but like i legitimately it is nearly impossible for me to like make plans like more than two weeks away i swear to god every two weeks, my mom has been reminding me of this concert. So like, that is how much this concert meant to her. I decided that this was such an important event for my mom. She really, really was passionate about the family going to see Beyonce and Jay-Z in concert. A month ago, I decided that I would reach out to SeatGeek and see if they wanted to partner with me to get my mom like her dream tickets to this concert because I just knew how much it meant to her. So it has been about 30 days that I have been talking to them, which by the way, I've done stuff with SeatGeek before. They're amazing. So I contacted them to help me make something special for my mom to see like Beyonce and Jay-Z. They ended up coming through and getting me like really, really really good tickets. The craziest thing is I made the biggest fail of my life and did not ever put the concert into my calendar. I wake up this morning and my mom comes over and like my, it, like, my mom comes over today and she's like, hey, what time are we gonna go to the mall? And I'm kicking back my house like, oh, I don't know, we'll go around like three o'clock, you know, I'm chill. And she's like, okay, well, I just wanna make sure that I eat before the concert. And I'm like, well, what do you mean? Like the concert's next week, isn't it? For some reason I had in my mind that the concert was next week. <laughs> My mom's like, uh, no, the concert's tonight. And I look up the time and the concert is literally in four hours. All of these six months of planning, all of these six months of her telling me about this concert on this day, all of the one month, 30 freaking days of me contacting SeatGeek, getting these tickets ready and the concert's today. And suddenly it is two o'clock, the concert's at seven. In a few hours, I have no tickets in my email, no confirmation, no contact information for anybody at SeatGeek. And my mom was over with my sister and she's like, I wanna go to the mall and get an outfit. And like, I don't even have the freaking tickets. So the past few hours, which should have been spent with me having fun, going to the mall with my family, getting cute outfits together, getting our nails done, getting our hair done, instead turn into me having a full on panic attack, crying my eyes out and basically contacting everyone at SeatGeek, their Twitter, their Instagram, literally everything to just like figure this out. I didn't think that I was going to get these tickets. Looking up tickets that they're doing in San Diego, thinking I would like drive there next week and like take my mom. And right when I was about to purchase new tickets to this concert, because I didn't want to let my family down, SeatGeek responded and I cried, but I've been crying before that. You know, as you guys can tell, it's been a stressful morning. My face was clear, you know, acne was not existing this morning. And now since I've been so stressed the past three hours trying to put this together, my skin has taken a turn for the worse. Guys, SeatGeek responded and now tonight's gonna be lit and I'm freaking out and yeah. Okay, so basically guys, if you don't know what SeatGeek is, it's just a really amazing ticket service where they take literally like all the tickets on the internet and compile them into one website. They also grade each ticket from one through 10, so you know if you're getting a good deal on the ticket. And what I really love about SeatGeek especially is that they show you a picture of the view of your seats. This is a must, you know, cause you'll like show up to a concert and then be like, oh, I thought I got good seats. And then you just totally picked it wrong and you get no view of the artist. So guys, if you are planning a less stressful concert not concert. If you're planning, a, if you're better at planning than I am and you want to go to a concert, guys, get your tickets from SeatGeek. And since you're watching this video, you get 20% off of your SeatGeek purchase with the code AVA. So any event, 
use code Ava. And you can use the link in the description box to download the app. I recommend using the app. It's amazing to be able to buy tickets on your phone. So yes, my mom and sister are currently at the mall and I'm going to try to make my skin look a little bit better and I'm gonna get ready for this concert and we're gonna have a good time. So, you know, I love Beyonce. I've seen her before, she's amazing. But this is really for my family today. I really just wanted to do something really nice for my family and that's why I was having a panic attack and like crying my eyes out because I didn't want to let my family down. Cause I never, like, I feel like I, I don't, I don't feel like I, I just feel like I just want to do so many nice things for them and like this was my one opportunity to like really do something really, really nice and thoughtful and like I almost, like I nearly effed it up. But today's gonna be a good day. We're gonna see Beyonce and this vlog is going to take a turn for the better guys. So yeah, let's go see Beyonce. <laughs> Good morning guys! I have these like eye mask things on. I took my hair out of my braids and my hair is so long! Holy crap! It looks so good. It has been probably three days since the Beyonce concert. Yesterday I was checking my emails. I was catching up on like all the stuff that I hadn't responded to. And I saw in my email that Aloe Yoga was having a yoga convention today and tomorrow. Um, and I read this last night. <laughs> if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, I think I mentioned this only on Twitter, not on Instagram. But I got an MRI because I was in a car accident, someone rear-ended me on the freeway really, really hard. So I took my MRI, I got the results back, and I have two herniated discs, which is pretty bad. Nothing is working to like help me fix my herniated discs, which if you guys have had herniated discs before, leave me in the comments down below what you did to fix yourself. I just wake up every morning feeling like brittle and stiff and Yoga helps me stretch out. It just makes me feel better about my life. So I packed my bags. I packed really, really light. I just packed a duffel bag and a purse. I feel like I can never pack light, like too light on trips unless I'm really hardcore going for like just adventure mode. And Elaine is coming with me. Elaine and I have been really, really like best friends since, since literally probably like freshman year of college. Damn, that was the, we became friends the first year that I started my YouTube channel. I have these like eye masks on, so if I look weird, that's why. Also this pimple will not go away and I don't know why, like what caused it, but it's just like, it's just the worst. I'm gonna wear my hair curly on this trip, get it a little natural moment going on. Maybe put it in a bun, but yeah, so I'm going to finish packing. I'm already running really late because I posted my video today. My neighbor legit got raided by the FBI and I was home during the whole thing. So after you watch this video, go watch that story time because it is insane. And yeah, I'm gonna finish packing and then we'll get on the road. Yes, yoga time. I pretty much just packed all yoga stuff for this trip. I just packed some running shoes. And then in my duffel bag, I packed just a bunch of like leggings. I packed one swimsuit, um, some underwear, deodorant. I use men's deodorant. Old Spice, hit me up with that sponsorship. Just, just kidding. And then over here, I packed another back brace type of thing. This is really cool because you heat it up in the microwave and then you just wear it as like a belt and it heats up your back, makes it feel good. Hard drives, I packed a little bit of crystals. Brought a lot of books, my planner. I always have to write down everything that I'm working on. My back medicine and just gum and like perfume. Okay, so we're currently here at the Aloe House. It looks so sick. We're about to do some acro yoga. Okay guys, so we're currently in Palm Springs at the mansion at the Aloe House, and we had to find a bathroom to change into our swimsuits, and we found basically a bathroom the size of my house. Yeah, actually. No, but seriously, like this is like the size of my house.
can't relate. That closet has a conveyor belt. There's a Keurig in the bathroom. There's a fucking Keurig. There's a Keurig in the bathroom. And a refrigerator. How much time are you spending in the bathroom that you need a Keurig? Some, some coffee. Like, oh, I'm just gonna drink coffee, like, by the toilet. Oh my god. This is what luxury feels like. This is kind of creepy though. Like, I honestly this wouldn't want my bath in the bathroom to look like this. Hey guys, okay. <laughs> so, update. It is now probably like a week later and I hate this, but I really wanna start vlogging more and that is kind of like one of my main priorities for like this end of the year is to get into vlogging at least weekly. I'd love to vlog like three times a week. But yeah, so you guys know that I'm not, I'm not like a seasoned vlogger. You know, like I've, I've never done uploads on my vlog channel for like, you know, like months on end as a vlogger. This channel's kind of been like weird all these years, but I finally want to turn it into like a vlog channel and actually be a vlogger and take you guys into like my life. I feel like, I feel like vlogs are the best. Um, but one thing that I always forget to do is end the vlog. So this is kind of like my vlog ending days later and I'm really sorry that this is coming so late. I'm sorry. But yeah, I have four more vlogs coming this week, guys, and they have and they all have proper vlog endings. So I'm sorry that this vlog ending is like days later, but I hope you guys don't mind. I'm currently in Hawaii with Ben, Caleb, and Brent. We're staying at Ben's house and his house is so cute. And I'm vlogging the trip and I also have, like I said, four other vlogs coming just from like the past week. Um, and I'm really excited. I'm, I'm like really proud of myself that I finished them all and like edited them all. So yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I love you guys so much. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and turn notifications on because I'm uploading other vlogs this week. Um, I think I'm gonna upload tomorrow as well, so that'll be fun. Also, I'm gonna ask you guys a question today, um, and the question of the day is, have you ever done yoga before? Because I would love to know. And yeah, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, so I'll see you. I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye, guys. <laughs>